Jungkook was surprised to see you at the door. Can I come in? Yes, come. He closed the door and walked behind you. You stopped and turned towards him. Is everything okay? He was quite surprised and curious with your unexpected visit. You nodded. Yes, I'm um, sorry for coming without informing you. It's okay. Please sit. He walked near the couch before sitting on it. He brought you a glass of water. Thank you. You said taking it from his hands. He said opposite to you. How are you doing? You nodded. Better. Um, how about you? He smiled slightly and nodded. Same. My vacations are going on and I was getting bored sitting at home so I thought to meet you. Then you should go for a nice trip with your friends. It would be refreshing for you. They all already left. I didn't want to go. He frowned. Why? You should go with them. You looked down at the glass that you were holding with both of your hands. Jungkook understood that you still need time. It's been only a month and you're still not over from that incident. It's okay if you don't want. You can do other things too. You lift up your head and looked at him. Like? He got nervous while you were looking at him with curiosity. Ah, uh, I mean, there would definitely be something that you want to do. You inhale deeply and lean back on the couch. I have no idea. You said looking at the ceiling but then suddenly sat straight before looking at him. Ajishi. His face goes down in awkwardness when you call him Ajishi. Um, uh, I seriously don't know what to call you. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have to say sorry. I feel awkward so I'll call you Oppa. How is that? Call whatever you want. I'll bring you some snacks. Wait here. He got and walked towards the kitchen while you followed. Jungkook turned around and you were standing in front of him. Will you take me to Busan again? His forehead wrinkled up showing the confusion. I was planning to go alone but I thought I should ask you, what would you do there? I'll move in there after my graduation. Why do you wanna move in there? You know nobody there and life won't be that easy. Don't worry about me, I'll learn to live all by myself. I'm leaving now. Tell me if you wanna go with me or else I'll go by myself. You were about to leave but he stopped you and came near you. Why in? You looked at him. He looked down taking a moment to think before looking back at you. Think about it again. And if your answer is still yes then I'll come with you. I have already decided and I'm not stepping back from my decision. Thank you for this. You took a cookie from the plate and walked away. Should I stop her or let her do whatever she wants? He exhaled deeply and walked towards the kitchen. What? You're also from Busan? Wow. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? You never asked. You chuckled. You're right, but you live in such a big mansion all by yourself and it's crazily rich. Then why didn't you get married yet? You asked this question a second time and he again gave no reply, making you wonder why he never responded to this question.
Ah, uh, maybe you're still looking for someone? Guys usually prefer getting married in their 30s or maybe 40s but 40s are quite old you know. I think guys should get married in late 20s or early 30s if they are already well settled like you. The whole ride he was just listening to you talking non-stop and without caring about the topic and you were just talking about anything that was coming in your mind. So your parents still live in Busan? I only have an aunt. You looked at him a little surprised. I'm sorry. And the whole ride went like that. You came out from the car and closed the door before looking around in amazement. Then your eyes fell on Jungkook who just smiled at you knowing all this must be new to you. I can't believe a neighborhood like this still exists. It feels like I have come in a K-drama. I'll buy a house near this place. Let's go inside first. You nodded as you to walk inside the house. You both were greeted by an old lady who got so happy seeing Jungkook. She came and hugged him. What a pleasure and surprise. I'm so happy that you came, Jungkooka. How are you? I'm all good, Imo. How about you? She laughed a little and nodded. As you see, I can still function despite being old. He chuckled slightly, then her eyes fell on you. Who is this young lady? Jungkook looked at you before turning his face towards her. She is the daughter of one of my friends. You bowed politely. She chuckled softly and patted your head. I might be a grandmother's age. Call me Halwani. He looked at her and nodded. You're so polite and beautiful. Let's come inside. She walked ahead while you looked at Jungkook who nodded and both of you walked inside. This place is a little old fashioned and small. Youngsters like you don't really prefer to live in countryside anymore. She is different emo, don't worry. You looked at him only to see him flashing a soft smile at you making your heart skip a beat. Oh really? I am so happy that this generation is still trying to attach to their roots. You all sat around the table as she went to get tea for you. As she was coming, Jungkook quickly got up and helped her in carrying the tray. Each day you are falling for him and his personality. You have no idea where you'll end up and you don't care about it. You're just dreaming about him. To be with him without caring whether you'll get the same love that you're picturing or not. Are you here to enjoy your vacations? You looked at Jungkook as he nodded while serving the tea. Yes, she wants to explore her birthplace. She looked at you amazed. So this beautiful lady born here is slightly nodded. God bless you dear. Jungkook's aunt insisted that you should stay here tonight and you weren't able to dinner. She gave you her room to sleep but you ain't getting any sleep. You wanted to know what Jungkook is doing. Is he sleeping or still talking to his aunt? You hugged your pillow and turned to the other side. I'm crazily falling for him but how am I going to confess to him? It's not going to be easy, in fact not at all. Ah, I never felt anything for a guy in my whole damn 18 years of life. But I ended up falling for a man who is 12 years older than me. It's not my fault though. I found him attractive then how it's my fault.
He slowly opened the door and peeked inside only to find Jungkook reading some newspaper articles that he has collected. Are you busy? He looked at you a bit surprised. You're still awake? You came inside and closed the door before walking near him. Yes, I don't feel sleepy in new places. But you should sleep, it's already midnight. You sat beside him and put your pillow on your lap. I usually stay awake around this time so I can't. He sighed. He looked at the papers he was reading. You're working on something? He hummed still looking at the papers. I'm just trying to get some information if I can. Detectives are so cool. I think I'm going to be one in the future. I really like solving this crime and mystery things. It's so cool, right? He looked at you. It looks cool until you yourself experience it. It's no fun. Really? Then I think I should stay with you to experience it. You bit your lower lip as he looked at you. What? You shook your head. Nothing. I said nothing. I think you should go and sleep. We'll leave tomorrow in the morning. I'll leave after some time. Don't worry, I won't disturb you. You can do your work. He shook his head and again started doing his work. Meanwhile, you were looking at the stuff. You were fascinated with the antique stuff that you only used to see in dramas and movies. You turned towards Jungkook and once again you got lost in him. A smile was plastered on your face while you were looking at him. No matter how much you see and admire him, you never get enough of him. You quickly turned back when Jungkook looked at you and got hit on your forehead by the edge of the shelf. Ouch! Jungkook got up and came near you quickly. You okay? He rubbed your forehead with his thumb. You forget all your pain and just got lost in him. You should be careful. Is it hurting? It's not. He quickly removed his hand from your face as he realized he was too close. He went back to his place. Y you, you should sleep now. Can I sleep here? He looked at you surprised. Here? I won't take much space. Plus, I'm feeling a little scared to sleep in that room. Please? But, I promise I won't disturb you. You walk near the bed before sitting on it. He said, I don't think I'll get any sleep. You plugged in your earphones and started watching YouTube. After some time, Jungkook decided to go to sleep as his eyes started getting heavy and he couldn't focus on the work anymore. So he wrapped up his stuff and got up when his eyes fell on you. You already slept while sitting and your head was rested against the wall while the phone was on your lap. He slowly picked your phone and put it aside along with earphones and made you lay down before pulling the blanket over you. He was about to leave when you grabbed his hand. Stay here. He slowly looked at you. He was not sure whether you said it in sleep or you are awake. He tried to remove your hand but you opened your eyes. Don't go. Please stay here. Your eyes met but then Jungkook looked away. You pulled him towards you making him sit on the bed near you and rested your head on his lap. He gulped. Why in? Sleep on the bed. No, I won't. You wrapped your hands around his waist, sleep in that position. He looked away.
In the morning, you woke up and found yourself sleeping in the same position. Jungkook was sleeping, resting his head against the wall. You got up and looked at him as a smile appeared on your face. Seeing his face right after you woke up made you made you happier than ever. Jungkook's aunt smiled when she noticed him walking inside the living room. He woke up at the right time. Breakfast is ready. Good morning, Emo. His eyes were searching for you. Where is Wayan? She smiled. She helped me in the kitchen. She's such a nice girl. You came in the living room holding the pot. Jungkook slowly looked down when your eyes met as a smile appeared on her face. It's kimchi rice for breakfast. I'm excited. His aunt laughed a little. She brought other things and served the breakfast. Are you going back today? You looked at Jungkook because you have no idea what he has planned. Maybe if we finish the work we are here for, we'll go back or else we have to stay. Come to meet me before you go back. He nodded and silently ate the rice. He put the flowers on your parents' grave and bowed to them before getting up. Jungkook was also there with you. I still don't know the reason why you guys abandoned me like this, and maybe I would never be able to find out until I'm here. But. Your eyes were moist and tears were on the edge. Anybody can tell that how hard you are trying to fight against them. You swallow the lump down from your throat and continue. You have to be ready with a decent explanation when I come there. I don't know what was your struggle, but one thing I have realized and that is you guys never loved me because if you did, you didn't left like this. He lowered your head and cried while Jungkook was just listening to your slow sobs. He just wanted to embrace you, but not now. You have all the rights to mourn for your parents and complain to them. Jungkook looked at you from the corner of his eyes and saw you silent like this made him a little concerned. You again became like how you were a month ago and when your father died. He never wanted to see the same condition of you again. Have you ever seen some very amazing places in Busan? He tried to grab his, your attention and it worked. You did look at him. Let me take you to the places I was so attached to when I was a kid. I used to come here with my parents every weekend. Isn't it beautiful? He was looking at you with the sweetest smile on his face while you nodded. He pointed towards back. And from there, I used to go to school with a bicycle. A lot has changed though. That time, there was not this much development. You could easily feel the beauty of nature, but still, it's good. Yes, this is still so beautiful. You walk near the water and let the waves wash your bare feet, which got muddy. Order whatever you want. Today it's a treat from my side. You chuckle slightly. You look in a good mood. My mood is always good. You eat well. You both laughed a little while enjoying the food. Now I wonder why people are so fond of this city. You both were eating ice creams while sitting on the stairs and looking at the city view. The way people here live their lives is completely different from any other place. Here people enjoy being surrounded by the nature, they spread love and positivity. We looked at Jungkook as you could see his half side and still he was perfect. Can I ask you something? He slowly looked at you. Yes, 
He could feel nervousness because he was afraid, but still really very unexpected. I want you to answer it this time. He remained silent. Why didn't you get married yet? Or are you dating? No, I'm not dating anyone. Now I think we should go back to the hotel. He looked at you when you got up. Then date me. Today I want to tell you something and that is I like you Jungkook. I really like in fact I have fallen for you so badly. He gulped as he could feel the fear surrounding him from inside. I think we should go back. He got up and was about to walk but you denied. No, today you have to listen to me. I'm serious and I'm really very serious here. I know you must be thinking that I'm crazy and you can say that because I am. I have never fallen in love with any guy but I couldn't help myself in your case. Every day I have no I have to fight with my feelings still I fail. Today you have to give me an answer and it should be yes. Please, I love you so much Jungkook. Do you have any idea what you're saying? You're talking about impossible and completely nonsense. I know what you're concerned about, but who cares? Love knows no age, Jungkook. This is the connection of hearts. I don't care what the people say. I believe in choosing my happiness and for me, you have become my happiness. We jumped to the other side from the railing and stood on a hilly area. Why? Come down from there. You'll fall. It's slippery there. You shook your head. I won't come down until you accept me. In fact, I will jump off from here. Stop acting like a child whining. You are an adult now, so behave like one. Exactly. I'm an adult and there's nothing wrong when I say I have fallen for you. It's not like I'm separating you from your wife or kids. You're still single that then what's wrong if I got my heart on you? Why can't you love me? What's wrong with that? You're not understanding anything. It seems right to you at this moment but later you'll realize that it's not right. I'm very understanding and I know what I'm doing. I have more experience in falling in love than you because you still haven't fallen for anybody when I do every single day for you. Come down Wayan. Not until you say that you are ready to accept me. You don't have any idea how much I admire you. In fact, I have already seen my future with you. There's no way I'm going to step back now. Suddenly your feet slip and you drop but you gather yourself. Ryan, are you crazy? Come down. Out. You said rubbing your butt and then looked at him. He got so terrified when you slipped. This is your last chance. I never thought you're so cruel. Even now you're not melting. Ryan tried to understand. You got up. Now I don't want to understand anything. I know you are so stone hearted. So now I won't beg you anymore. I'm going to jump down from here. You turn towards the other side. Ryan, stop. You're not going to do anything like that. Stop right there. He was about to jump from the railing but you struggled. Don't come to me or else I will jump. Ryan, tell me if you'll accept me or not. I'm counting till 3 and I swear I will jump. Now my life is in your hands. You were careful with your step because you yourself were scared to fall. One, two, stop, stop, 
ओके आई एम रेडी योर फेस लाइट एन अप रियली He nodded and stepped forward but it slipped as he quickly sat down preventing yourself from falling. Stay right there I'm coming. He climbed the railing and came near you. You spread your arms as he carried you like a child. You're so stubborn. I know and I don't regret. You wrapped your arms around his neck and hugged him tightly while he was walking down from the stairs. You still think it's right? Yes, it was never wrong. And when there is love, no age, shape, or size comes in the middle. You're crazy, and you're so handsome. He chuckled internally.